distance, all the way from Bel Air, California, please welcome Will, the Thrill, and Boogaloo Shrimp. <laughs> And I'm David, and we're your new anchors for Ram TV. All DECA members, you will compete in the Gwinnett County Annual Bowling for Breath Tournament to benefit the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. $5 gets you two games, shoes, pizza, and a drink. See Mr. O'Keefe and Ms. Merritt for more details. All sophomores and juniors will take the PSAT on October 17th. There's no cost to the student for this test. It is paid in part by GCPS and in part by the school. Retakes of these tests of the Gateway Science Test will be offered on October 23rd and 24th. October 24th will be the retakes on the social studies portion of the test. Passing these tests is a requirement for graduation in Gwinnett County. And after our commercial break, we'll tell you about the courageous 14-year-old boy who saved his neighbor from a deadly fire. That sounds interesting, Dave. It is. Yeah, I know. He's a really brave I heard kid. about that. Summer's gone to Hey guys, I'm Imani Kimbrough here with your random fact. Did you know that elephants are the only mammals that can't jump? That's cray cray. I'm Imani Kimbrough and this has been your random fact. Hey guys, it's Sydney and Tahira from Ram TV. And as you all know, the 2012 presidential elections are in full effect. Of course not everyone is able to vote, but there are so many things that you can do to get involved. You can volunteer at poll sites, campaign for your favorite candidate, and make sure your parents go out and vote. Remember guys, every vote counts. Give us as teens a voice in politics. You can register at any public library, church, or even online from now until October 22nd. So be at the polls on November 6th to either vote or volunteer for your United States president. Everyone has a voice and every vote counts. Bye, Bye Grayson! Grayson. Hi Grayson, I'm China. And I'm Brendan. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Sports. <laughs> you know, I was looking at you and you kind of look like Corbin Blue. Oh really? Yeah. Well I was looking at you and uh, you look like my next girlfriend. Really? I didn't know yeah. that, but that was kind of smooth. Let's get into the news. <laughs> Grayson High School Lacrosse will host the Fall Bazaar on October 13th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It promises to be a great time for families in the Grayson community. Congrats to the volleyball team for defeating Lanier for the fourth time this season. Keep up the good work, ladies. Also, congrats to the football team for their win against Shiloh. Come out to the homecoming game versus Central Gwinnett. Have fun at the game, guys. That's it for today. Be sure to tune in next week as we start the sports fall season. I'm Brennan. And I'm China. Hey 
guys, no, I'm not Jenny from the block, but don't worry, she'll be back. Anyways, I'm Allison with the weekend weather. Today and tomorrow, the high is going to be in the low 80s, and the low is going to be in the 50s and 60s. So after homecoming, make sure you have a light sweater with you to keep you warm. But if homecoming isn't your thing, then maybe you should go out with your friends and take a walk in the park, or maybe even visit a pumpkin patch. It would also be a great weekend to go to Six Flags and visit Fright Fest. But then on Sunday and Monday, the high is going to be in the low 70s, high 60s, and the low will be in the mid 40s. So make sure you take a sweater or even a cute scarf. And everyone, because it's a long weekend, I suggest that you go visit a college with your day off. All in all, the weather's going to be pretty nice and sunny with partly cloudy skies. So make sure you go out, have fun, and enjoy the weekend weather. Happy fall, everyone! Welcome to your homecoming edition of Fantastic Fashion. I'm Paris and this is Cheese and Not the Great. Whoa, well, cheers there, Paris. By the way, I like your dress. Thanks, but why are you matching me? <laughs> you're the sign you taking me to your homecoming tomorrow. Yeah, I'll pass. Anyways, as you can see, we're in the cafeteria where homecoming will be taking place tomorrow. But of course it won't be looking like this. What's the theme again? Not on the Nile. Please stop. <laughs> Alright, fellas, the dress code is pretty simple. No sagging, no jeans, and this is a semi-formal dance, so come on and show out. Yeah, also girls, dress code is very simple. Your dress cannot, or repeat, cannot be extremely short or excessively tight. Remember, it's not a nightclub, it's still a school and buy it. Paris, you a fool. And ladies, it's not about the price of the dresses, it's about how you rock it. I agree, that both time I see you making me smarter. <laughs> Always been smart. And fellas, if you have a date tomorrow, make sure it's a night and a day that you'll never forget. Also guys, have fun and make sure to be safe. And don't forget to tweet us your picture of your homecoming dress or just a picture of you and your homecoming thing at hashtag RamTV. Don't forget, hashtag RamTV. And you just might make it on RamTV next week. All right, that's all for this week. I'm Paris and this is Cheeza. Welcome back, Grayson. I'm Denzel. And I'm Colin. And it's your boy Landon. This is Grayson Street Talk. Last week we heard that y'all liked our dancing a lot. Yeah, some of you wanted to dance and then others did not. Man, what is up with that, yo? I don't know. Anyways, as you seen this week, it was Jump On It, as featured on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Let's go take a look at that. Well, I'm Big Bang. I am the chief. I got a lot of rap, but I'll be free. I never need a horse. I like the chip. So I drive up in my new Seville. My tribe went down in the Hall of Fame. Cause I'm the one who shot Jesse Dance. Power for power. I will never break down. Like Kiyosabe, of course it's me A better known as the Master G I'm fucking in squad, sense the danger When it's done by the rapping ranger Had a little talk with my medicine man He said get them squads fast that you get To all you girls and wanna join my tribe Just move to my rhythm and feel my vibe Put up a fuss in the end you'll agree But when you come inside my TV As I said before, you can sense the danger When you're stung by the rapping ranger With Silver and I take a ride All you teams better step aside I stay in the squads, then run away Ho! Silver is what I'll say Ho!
Yo, look, even Fat Albert wanted to show up. Even Scream. Yo, when I was a little kid, I always been afraid to scream. <laughs> okay, Denzel. <laughs> well, Grayson, that's all we have for you today. Remember to send us at your ideas at hashtag RamTV, or you can contact me at She Loves Michi for your ideas and your comments. Or at Landland3021 on Twitter. Well, see you next week, Grayson. Hi, this is Diva, and has this ever happened to you? I'm Emmett. I'm Jane. And this is your Geek Minute. Now we got a bunch of games this week, so prepare for a pretty hefty episode. Starting this week off, I'll be bringing you some info on some anime-related games. First off, the popular series Sword Art Online will be released into a PSP video game. The game will be called Sword Art Online Infinity Moment. The game plays a lot like a turn-based RPG, so you'll be able to party with some well-known characters. You'll, you'll be able to customize your equipment and more. Namco Bandai has also announced that they're working on Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. The game plays a lot like the previous games, and it'll come with new characters and new boss fights, and it'll come with a quick time moment. So, no release date has been confirmed, but the game's coming out on PS3 and Xbox in 2013. Uh, point out the bounce. Uh-huh. Show me the bounce. Yeah. Point out the bounce, yeah, Timbo King, yeah, point out the bounce, yeah, Young Hobie. Next up, we got NBA 2K13. For you basketball fans, NBA 2K13 released yesterday. It contains all the great features that fans of the franchise are familiar with, including incredibly realistic animations that could fool non-gamers into thinking that you're actually watching a real game of basketball. And since 2K has pretty much perfected the game of basketball with their previous release, they chose to throw everything but the kitchen sink into this game. The original Olympic gold medal winning Dream Team is playable, as well as an all-star celebrity team featuring Bow Wow and even Justin Bieber, if that's your thing. Uh, there's now a custom shoe editor that allows you to send your designs to Nike to be made into real-life footwear. And as you probably heard from the intro, the fact that the game's executive producer is Jay-Z means that he handpicked the songs in its soundtrack. It includes songs from the likes of Kanye West, Meek Mill, Coldplay, Nas, U2, Diddy, Daft Punk, and even Jay-Z himself. The game is now available on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PS3. The Sims 3 may have been released way back in 2009, but EA has continued to release content to expand its initially massive world. Following the Pets, Supernatural, and Showtime expansion packs, the Seasons expansion pack is set to release on November 13th of this year. It adds a feature that Sims fans have been longing for ages, the addition of a dynamic changing weather system. And besides just adding fall weather, winter weather, summer weather, and spring weather, the change also can affect the health of your Sims. For example, leaving them out in the sun can give them a nice tan, while leaving them out in a blizzard can result in them freezing to death. Make sure you pick it up in a few short weeks. All right, sounds cool. But that's all we have for your Geek Minute this week. I'm Emmett. Wait, wait. I'm Emmett. Oh, oh. OK, uh, I'm Chang. And tune in next week for your Geek Minute. Bye. My name is Nick Gatling. And my name is Duke Lee, and we're here with the Tech Talk of the Week. Today I'll be talking to you guys about headphones. Now, everybody knows that the Bose and Dr. Dre are the Beats, are the best headphones out now. Well, at least that's something that we can agree on, finally. Yes, Duke, it is, but those aren't exactly some cost-effective headphones. Now, for you guys who don't just have $100 to throw on some headphones and are willing to sacrifice a little bit of quality, I would suggest these Hesh 2 headphones by Skullcandy. 
Well, are these headphones as good as the uh, Bose or the Dr. J's? Well, they come close, Duke. These headphones have been put up to the test in comparison with these two headphone giants, and they are doing pretty well. Some people say that they can't even tell the difference, and they are the perfect headphones for you bass heads out there. Plus, they have some very interesting style for you headphone fanatics. They come in at $60 a pop, and for your money, are the best things out there. I have the Bose QC15s, and I gotta say, I love it. But I'll have to check out the Skull Candies. Thanks, Nick. Now let's talk to some Android. Don't we all love really big phones? Yeah. Okay, sure. Well, the new Samsung Galaxy Note 2 launched on three carriers in Korea yesterday. It has a 5.5-inch screen running Jelly Bean. It is expected to be launched in the United States sometimes in November. Now, we all know that the Google Street View comes in handy, and it's pretty cool. Google is working on its first underwater panoramic images for Street View. And we are now a step closer to looking at beautiful underwater tours. That sounds pretty good, Duke. I'm so happy we didn't talk about Apple this week. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick. Guys, we'll give you guys an update on the iPhone next week, so don't forget to tune back in to Ram TV for Tech Talk with Nick and Duke. See you guys. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Diva. Okay, so what makes you think you're qualified to work here? I'm sorry, what? Oh, I'm, I was texting my boyfriend, yeah, what? What makes you think you're qualified to work here? The college, live at home with my parents, so I really need some money and poor. Hello. Hi. What's your name? What makes you think you're qualified to work here? Well, I'm a guy. I don't know, I do stuff, so. Yeah. 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 What other uh, work experience do you have? Okay, food! Cheetos! Good job, good job! Alright, now welcome back, and here's our story for the week. On his way home from football practice, 14-year-old Marcus Ugarte did a brave thing by risking his life to save his 7-year-old neighbor. With no shirt and no shoes, Marcus rushed into the burning house. He took a ladder, propped it up on the window, climbed up, punched the screen out the window, and let the little boy climb down. Marcus says that this experience made him want to become a firefighter when he got older. It looks like anybody of any age can be a hero, as long as they have enough courage. This is true, this is true. Yeah, that's a brave kid. Yeah. He, was, he had a lot of courage to save that neighbor. Yeah, we need more people like that. We really do. Well, it looks like this is all the time we have today, but tune in next week for another great episode of Ram TV. Was that supposed to be yours? I don't know. <laughs> I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. I wear my heart up on my sleeve like a big deal. Your love bars down on me, surround me like a waterfall. And there's no stopping us right now. I feel so close to you right now.